A lot like a compass, the D-Link DIR510L 11AC portable router is essential gear for today's mobile adventure. In the box, you get a DIR510L, a quick installation guide, and a power adapter designed for your region. Let's take a closer look at the DIR510L. On the bottom, you'll find an Ethernet jack for your internet connection and a micro USB port for charging. On the top, there's a three position switch that turns on your DIR510L or sets it to charge a connected device. Next to that, there's a WPS button for quick connection to a wireless network or connecting clients to the DIR510L. The status light turns orange when the router is first powered on. It lights up solid green when the router is ready to use. The battery indicator lights up whenever the DIR510L is running on battery or being charged. It shuts off when the battery is fully charged. It's green when the battery is over 80% full, orange between 15 and 80%, and red below 15%. The USB ports make it quick and easy to share files from a USB stick. The DIR510L also supports USB accessories, like 4G LTE adapters and even an optional wearable camera. Check out dlink.com for a complete list. On the side opposite from the USB ports is a hardware reset button that returns the router to factory settings. Let's turn a wired connection into a high-speed wireless 802.11ac hotspot. To get started, just plug in your Ethernet cable. On your mobile device, connect to the DIR510L's wireless network. The default name is DIR510L. You'll be able to change it later. Just open a web browser and go to dlinkrouter.local. To configure your DIR510L, you'll have to enter your administrator password. The first time you log in, the password is blank. Once you log in, you'll see several round icons with a DIR510L in the middle. These make it easy to see what devices and storage are connected. The first thing to do is secure your new wireless network. Click the DIR510L icon and click Secure Your Network. Enter a new name or SSID for your wireless network. Enter a wireless password. You'll need to provide this the first time you connect any device to your network. It should be at least 8 characters long. When you're done, hit save. Wait a moment while your DIR510L saves your settings. If you change the name of your network or your security settings, you'll need to reconnect. Now, you should secure the DIR510L itself. Select Management, then Admin. Enter a new administrator password. This is the one you need to change settings on your DIR510L. Note that it's not the same as the wireless password that you set earlier. For better security, these two passwords should be different. After entering your password, tap Save and wait a moment. Remember, to make configuration changes on your DIR510L in the future, you'll have to enter the admin password. Now that your network is configured, you can connect all your mobile devices. The DIR510L can also connect to an existing Wi-Fi hotspot and share that connection with all your mobile devices. This is useful in airports or cafes where you might have to pay for a Wi-Fi connection. On your mobile device, connect the DIR510L wireless network. Open a browser, go to dlinkrouter.local. and log in.
Just tap Internet and then Next to browse available Wi-Fi networks. Choose the one you want. Enter a username and password if necessary, then tap Save. Now you can connect all your devices to the DIR510L and they'll all use the same connection. Once your DIR510L has an internet connection, all your devices can get online. The DIR510L also works with compatible LTE and 3G adapters to create a high-speed Wi-Fi hotspot anywhere. You can pay for just one connection and share it with more than one device. To find an adapter that works with your DIR510L, head over to dlink.com. Just connect your adapter to the USB 1A port on the DIR510L. On your smartphone, connect to the DIR510L wireless network. Open a browser, go to dlinkrouter.local. and log in. It should connect automatically. If your SIM card is locked, you might need to enter your password. Once your DIR510L has an internet connection, all your connected devices can get online. With two USB ports, your DIR510L is a great way to add storage space to your mobile devices or share files between them. It's personal cloud storage that even provides remote access, thanks to my D-Link SharePort remote access. You'll just need a couple of things. First, grab the my D-Link SharePort mobile app on your smartphone or tablet. Next, register with my D-Link. Head over to mydlink.com and enter just a few personal details. It's quick and easy. Now you can plug in a USB storage device with movies, music, photos, or other documents and browse them from the MyD-Link SharePort mobile app. You can also offload files from your mobile device to USB if you want to free up some space. If you're getting on a plane, you can use the favorite system to quickly copy a few movies onto your phone or tablet to watch later. You'll never run out of things to enjoy. My D-Link SharePort even works remotely over the internet, so there's no limit to the possibilities. Wherever your DIR510L is, you can reach all your stuff from any internet connected device. My D-Link SharePort gives you access to all your stuff whenever and wherever you want. Phone battery running low? No problem. Use your DIR510L to recharge nearly any mobile device, even a large tablet that can't usually be charged from a USB port on a computer. Just connect your tablet or phone to the top USB port on the DIR510L and slide the switch on the 510L to charger. With the DIR510L, all your devices have enough power to get through the day.